Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to do 3D motion tracking in After Effects. I'll basically show you how to put 2D text into a 3D cinematic that's moving in 3D space. Basically it just looks like if the text is in the scene and yeah, it should, shouldn't be moving. So um, if you want to know, also want to know how to put the text behind a wall or something then check out my advanced masking tutorial. I'll put the link in the description and also be sure to check out my all tutorials playlist because I have over 50 tutorials that I think and I think I covered almost anything about editing and stuff so just check that out and it will also be amazing if you could leave a rating because rendering, uploading and uh, recording all these tutorials in 1080p and stuff takes quite a while and I think I'm helping you out so please help me out and leave a simple rating. Also if you have any tutorial requests then just write them in the comments. So this um, is all from my 20k giveaway pack. If you want these cinematics then just check that out. It's basically some presets you can use but now I will show you how to do it your own on your own. So we will use this cinematic for the tutorial. Nothing too special, just a guy walking. Um, yeah by the way you will need a plugin called Camera Tracker 1.0 for this. But I think that should be obvious. So, yeah, just drag that effect onto your cinematic. I already did that, so uh, that's why I have it here. And then make sure that your uh, resolution is at full because if it's on quarter, the plugin won't be able to find all those points that good. So just put it on full. Then just click tr track features, and that should take quite a while because it will motion track the whole cinematic forward and backward. So when that's done, just press OK, and if it like randomly stops, then just try not to minimize After Effects while it's tracking because I don't know at least that happens for me. So if I don't know if you have that problem, just try that. So then just click on Solve Camera, then click on OK again, and then click on Create a Scene. Uh, create Scene. So basically, what that will do is add a camera and a null object. So you can't see that right now, but Sometimes the null object is on weird places, like then just scroll back and you should find it somewhere, um, but that's not too important. So, um, okay, as you can see, this is still moving, probably took some data from the guy walking here. And also we will try to put our text onto this place over here. So what you want to do now is um, change the null object. So just select your cinematic again, select the effect so that you can see all those points. Then just search the point you want and then just left click one time and then hold down control and click a second time. Then go to ground plate, uh, plane and set origin. So basically now our null object is over there and we can put some text on there now. So let's just do that and just type in some text and just mess around mess around with the size and stuff but as you can see it's still not moving it's just 2D text and no 3D movement so what you want to do now is change this to um, to a 3D layer so that it's in 3D space like that so it's already in our cinematic but it's still a bit too big and not on the right position so just uh, play around with the text ties and then just put it on the right place like that and sometimes the text is on weird places like I don't know somewhere over here or over there then just um, set the position to zero and it should be on the right place if not then I can make another tutorial on sh and show you how to um, put the text on the right place if you have problems with that I will just do that with a couple of examples so but now um, this looks pretty nice but it still looks a bit weird because it's looking a bit in the wrong direction so just press R for rotation and play around with these settings it looks like you want it to I think that should be fine okay um, so in this cinematic we don't need to um, mask out the text so that it's behind an object so um, but if you need that then again just check out my 3D motion tracking tutorial uh, advanced masking tutorial but yeah that's pretty much it you can add some more text 
and just play play around with the position. But I wouldn't move it around too much in these uh, in these space because then sometimes the tracking messes up. But if you don't play around too much, it should be okay. Like that presents. Okay, that's not fully visible, but I think you should get the idea. Like that. Now it passes this text and this. Um, and on small places like this, you could probably mask out some parts of the arm, but that's not really necessary, I think. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, please leave a rating for this. And also, if you can't get the plugin for some reason or I uh, know are too dumb to get it, then just write in the comments that you want to know how to do this with Buju. But then you have to get Buju. So um, yeah, I can show you in my next tutorial. I could show you how to do all this with the uh, 3D motion tracking program Buju. Um, but that's um, actually pretty simple. So just write your tutorial request in the comments maybe some uh, transition tutorials or whatever you like but before you ask please check out my tutorials playlist and see if I already made a tutorial for that and yeah that's pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please leave a rating and maybe a comment and also check out my tutorials playlist so yeah bye